Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video and today's video we are talking about my life choices. <laughs> okay, we are talking about chemical engineering which is the career that I am in and I thought I should talk about it because one, it's part of my life, it's a huge part of my life and my channel is based on my life and it's a good way to let people know what it's about and hopefully encourage people to go into the field if they want to or people who are looking into going into this field they have some sort of understanding on this topic and what it's about and what to expect when they get into the degree and maybe the workplace so yeah keep watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe you know do the things and we can get into the video <laughs> so we're going to start off simple we're going to define what chemical engineering is and to be honest sometimes i don't even know how to define it myself and i still don't know how to define it myself in a way so i'm going to use wikipedia so wikipedia says chemical engineering is a certain type of engineering which deals with the study of operation and design of chemical plants as well as methods of improving production chemical engineers develop economical commercial processes to convert raw material into useful products so yeah that's that's what it is honestly i didn't even know i don't think i knew fully what a chemical engineering was when I even started studying chemical engineering, first year, first day of of lectures or whatever, I don't think I knew what it was. And even a year later, I wasn't sure what it was. Um, but that's what it is. It's basically chemical engineers are basically involved in the in the design and the operation of manufacturing processes. Any process where they take raw materials and they make useful products as i just read and chemical engineers come into the design making sure that the design is going to be beneficial to the company and basically make sure that the intent is always in mind and that it does what it's supposed to do the process does what it's supposed to do and delivers the products that it needs to deliver in the most economical way in the most environmentally friendly way you know all these things come into the design and the operation of a process so that's my understanding i know i'm literally i've only been working as a chemical engineer rather a process engineer because for some reason when you get into the workplace they don't call you chemical engineers they call you a process engineer i don't know why but yeah i've only been working for two months so my information is limited i will admit that so i think for me this video will be mostly about talking about my experience in university and studying this degree and hopefully give people but a better understanding especially people who maybe are in matric and thinking of going into this field of what to expect and stuff like that okay so let's start with how to get into chemical engineering so i'm going to use uct because i went to uct and i'm going to tell you the requirements of the requirements for getting into the chemical engineering undergrad studies program or whatever at uct so you need a minimum of 80% for mathematics and 70% for physical sciences and okay stuff about MBTs and stuff like that you need to pass your MBTs maths English whatever so those are the requirements um another thing that I have on my notes is maybe to tell you guys why I chose um, um chemical engineering I chose chemical engineering because it was actually by chance, you know. Um, 
I was just looking for bursaries and you know stuff like that for university because I knew I was going into university soon and actually I think this was in grade 8 early matric yes early matric yes early matric I needed to get a bursary to make my life easier and my parents life easier when I start university so I looked for bursaries and the company that I'm working for now had bursaries for accounting and mostly engineering and sciences like chemistry you know i look i looked at the degrees that they sponsor and i basically randomly chose based on my likes like i knew i like maths and science and you know those subjects in high school so i chose chemical engineering based on that i didn't want to just do chemistry and i heard the pay is good you know <laughs> but yeah so that's how i chose it right but i have no regrets because once i started um engineering chemical engineering i it was tough but i enjoyed it so that brings me to the next part of this um topic which is what can you expect when studying chemical engineering in, in university specifically uct for me because i can only talk about my the things i've experienced so in the first year i actually have to to yeah in first year you do maths you do physics you do chemistry you do chemical engineering and statistics those are the subjects that you do in first year so in first year you don't really see much of the actual chemical engineering that you will see in at work or later on in your degree but you s focus mostly on the maths and the physics and the stats and whatever and from my experience first year <laughs> was rough i guess it was just me getting used to everything i failed a module or course or whatever you guys call it people call it and that brought me down like a lot it was hard <laughs> it was hard for me to accept because i hadn't really failed anything until then but it was a good learning experience and i got out of it and i graduated in record time so it's okay physics <laughs> okay that's not the point but i just wanted to give you guys an overview of first year and first year is mostly focusing on maths and physics and all the other subjects and then later on they get you into the chemical engineering the things that you actually will see and experience at work so skip first year second year you also do maths you know you gotta be good with the maths if you're going to go into chemical engineering i suggest you be friends with Matt. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now going into the chemical engineering, the stuff that you do is basically most of the time it's design. Like we have design projects all the time where you're given a process and you have to design the equipment and the conditions on which the, the that's basically designing the, the process. It's, it's knowing what you want the process to do. You know, you you know, like what you want to produce, the properties of the things, the chemicals or whatever you produce. Or it could be food, by the way. Well, in university, you mostly work on chemical processes, but like you can work in the food. Okay, I'm skipping. I'm jumping around. That we're gonna talk about later. But you you basically design equipment that is gonna be used in that process and for that you need to know the property of the things that you're going to be the properties of the things that you're going to be going through your process or your system or whatever it is and knowing how they're going to affect the integrity of the equipment maybe and like for example if it's something that's um very flammable or that's hard then you know you put insulation and so whatever i don't know <sighs> i hope i'm not talking rubbish um but you think about that stuff you think about the temperatures this thing is a vapor this this thing vaporizes or something like that and those are the things that you deal with with chemical engineering and you also work with excel a lot but i wanted to mention software like aspen where you can model the the process and 
um also do a little bit of coding which i'm not really good at but you know you'll find what you like within cambridge also and you can branch out to different industries or different um specialities within the degree um so i guess that can also go into the next section of like where can you go with a chemical engineering degree so in university at uct once you get to third year you get you get to kind of pick which side of chemical engineering that you're interested in and there was three options there's like mineralogy side and there's also there's or can it be metallurgy i don't know but yeah mineralogy side and then there's also bio side and there's also chemistry side which is like catalysis and stuff and then bio is like bioprocessing oh guys my lighting is changing because the sun is just like moving around but anyway i wanted to go through what um where can chemical engineers or process engineers work so google says i just want like because i know when i try to explain things sometimes they just go offside so i'm just gonna give you guys a google explanation or google answer before i give you my answer or my experience so google says Chemical engineers can apply their skills in the manufacturing of petrochemicals, cement, explosives, plastics, paper, um, dyes, fertilizers, and a variety of chemicals. And food, I don't see it here, but they can also be in the food industry. And they can work in the mining industry to recover valuable um, minerals from raw ore. So I encourage people to do more research if they want to go into it and see if they see themselves oh and also consulting so you don't have to be in the physical like working at a manufacturing plant on like every day you can also go into consulting where you work on projects where um you work on projects for maybe a company that wants to design something wants to add something to their already existing um, process or plant or whatever so I think there's a lot of options I think one thing I love about the degree I chose to do or the career that I chose to go into is that there's a lot of options and now I'm going to talk about my first two months or a month and a half working as a process engineer movie guys it's horrible i'm joking <laughs> it's not horrible what i do on a daily basis is plant monitor monitoring which is basically making sure that the plant is running properly under like normally there's no issues there's there's if there's things that you think that can be done better to optimize the process then you suggest that that you make sure that the things that if there is something wrong someone knows about it something is being done about it um something like that yeah. <laughs> and also also work on small projects which is usually which usually come up from like maybe there's something wrong and you need to investigate what's wrong and why it's wrong and something that my manager boss whatever told me is that as a process engineer you always have to ask why like if something is happening if something's operating a certain way you ask why if something's not working the way it's supposed to be working you ask why and you you your job is to basically put the why that's what i've been told <laughs> and yeah and you basically i think also chemical engineering is a lot of troubleshooting it's a lot of um, problem solving and so if you're into that do it um, do it and yeah that's what i do on a daily basis work on projects could be big small um it could be very small you know um some projects takes weeks some projects take weeks some months you know um yeah and that's what i do <laughs> and yeah and also like i would love to encourage women to look into engineering not even just chemical engineering but 
for engineering because we do need more women out there you know doing things that were in another time in a previous life <laughs> not in a previous life but in all the times was only known to be for men and things are changing so girl go get your engineering degree mechanical electrical mining um civil do it do it <laughs> but yeah guys so i think i covered the basics of chemical engineering and that's what i wanted to do in this video and yeah i think if there's more questions leave them in the description in the, the description what the hell in the comments <laughs> and yeah um i'm hoping to give you guys a better update a more informed update once i've spent a few months like working and um acquiring more knowledge and all that because i feel like right now stepping into the workplace i feel like i know nothing like literally nothing but i'm learning every day and i think that's another thing that i love about my career it's like every day i learn something new and interesting in my opinion so yeah okay my battery's about to die so i'm gonna go now thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on my instagram and twitter at sunday underscore sundi with two eyes and yeah, bye. <laughs>